students our today's session will be long we are going to almost finish the chapter we'll be studying about metamorphic rocks different kind of minerals and natural resources so let us immediately start talking about metamorphic rocks igneous or sedimentary rocks which have undergone some changes due to temperature and pressure deep inside the earth they undergo change in their appearance become harder and tougher the type of metamorphic rocks include slate gneiss marble and quartzite slate formed from the shell it splits easily into thin sheets it is found in many colors it is used to make a writing slates blackboards roof tiles of buildings so this is a slate okay and generally all the writing slates blackboards are made out of this particular rock then comes nice formed from the granite it is a coarse grained it has irregular bands of different colors it often glitters due to the presence of shiny mineral mica in it then marble formed when limestone undergoes changes it can be carved and polished it can be in white gray pink green or black in color it is used to make statues and tiles taj mahal is a famous example of a monument which is built out of white marbles then comes quartzite formed from the changes in sandstone it is hard and tough it is used to make monuments statues and jewelries so these are a few examples of quartzite then comes minerals minerals are underground natural resources some minerals found in rocks are metallic and some are non metallic minerals that make up rocks often contain metals rocks contain metals that can be extracted profitably are called ores example hematite is an ore of iron other examples are bauxite which is an ore of aluminum then pyrite an ore of copper calamine and ore of zinc so these are the different ores of these metals these metals are used for a variety of purposes like making utensils machines wires etc precious metals like gold silver and platinum are used for making jewelry so these are the rings okay and uh, from the color you can say it is made out of gold then comes non metallic minerals students this coal as you know is a sedimentary rock found from the remains of the plants that grew in forest million of years ago the plant got buried in swamps when they died many layers of sand mud and other dead plants got deposited on top of them the above layer created heat and pressure leading to gradual changes of plant material to coal then there is petroleum a dark sticky liquid found from the remains of the plants and animals in the sea over the million of years it is also called crude oil the plant and animals sank to the bottom of the sea when they died the sediments got deposited on top of them the heat and the pressure from above sediments changed the dead remains into petroleum the use of coal and petroleum in today's world you are well aware of the two most important fuels on earth includes coal and petroleum coal is used to cook food and heat houses coal is also used to power houses to generate electricity and to run machines in factories then petrol and diesels obtained from petroleum are used to run machines and vehicles you all know the vehicles that we use in our daily lives they use this petrol and diesel as a fuel and they are this petrol and diesel is obtained from petroleum then plastic paints fertilizer cosmetics are also obtained from petroleum then talking about conserving natural resources there is huge demand for this fuels due to increased number of vehicles and industries 
but we must conserve our current reserves of fuel as they are exhaustible resources you all know that they are going to get extinct in a coming period of time they are going to get exhausted so we have to conserve them we have to protect them we must look for other sources of energy like solar energy we can which can help us to reduce the usage of petroleum products air pollution is also one of the biggest health hazard in recent times and burning of fuels contribute to large extent in it petroleum oil spills causing water pollution we must be therefore careful to use these resources and take care of environment by planting more and more trees so what we can do to conserve our natural resources we have to use it economically then we have to find out the alternate resources of energy so that there will be less usage of petroleum and diesel then the pollution that this natural resources cause this petroleum and uh, petroleum products they cause pollution but to reduce that pollution we have to plant more and more trees okay and wherever necessary use public transport you have to lessen the use of vehicles okay wherever it is possible you can go walking to that spot wherever it is possible or you can use your bicycles or you can use public transport you have to avoid using private vehicle as much as possible okay students so that was all from my side thanks for attending this session i hope you understood all these topics we have finished this chapter completing all the topics if you have any doubt feel free to ask you can put your comments you can put your questions in comment box okay and let me help you with your doubts so that was all students see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye